næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde dig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. In this video, I tell you about the infamous Wannsee Conference in January 1942, where 15 Nazi leaders met at this villa in Wannsee. The participants in the meeting had got the task from Hitler and his top people to organize the killing of the 11 million Jews living in Europe at that time. What you, my viewers, now watch is a new version of my earlier video on that terrible subject because, in the first version, I infringed on the copyright of a good movie from the German public station ZDF about the conference from 2022. Now, I have taken that out, but I can very much recommend the movie, which you can find on YouTube under the title Die Wansi Conference. Subtitles in English are possible. In this revised video, I have used the opportunity to add new information that I have discovered since the first version. The location for the infamous conference is a little outside central Berlin, Germany, a drive of around 25 minutes from where I live. Its street address was and is A.M. Grossen Wannsee 56 to 58. The area is one of the most beautiful places around Berlin. The best and most expensive houses are placed close to the Wannsee, a lake good for swimming and sailing. And so is this house placed. In the house, villa, or what I would call a palace, once lived a rich Jew, Friedrich Menu, and you see his picture here. It is one of history's many ironies that a luxurious villa once owned by a Jewish businessman was later used as the location for a conference about killing Jews. However, Menu faced legal trouble in the early 1930s and was arrested in 1938 for financial irregularities. This was five years after the Nazi party and Hitler came to power in Germany. I do not know if anti-Semitism was also part of the reason for his arrest. After Manua's arrest, the villa was 1940 forcibly sold at a price well below its market value, which was a typical maneuver by the Nazis to Aryanize, which means to make it more German in Hitler's sense, Jewish-owned properties. The SS subsequently used the villa for various purposes, and it became the site of the Wannsee Conference in January 1942. Surprisingly, Menu survived World War II. I do not know how. Menu tried to reclaim his villa, but died in 1945 before any resolution could be achieved. At the conference, the participants discussed and planned the Endlosung der Judenfrage, as it was called in German. In English, it is the final solution of the Jewish question. It's important to note that the Holocaust targeted other groups as well, including Romani people, often referred to as gypsies, Poles, Slavs, Soviet prisoners of war, disabled individuals, Jehovah's Witnesses, homosexuals, and other political and religious opponents. When including these groups, the total number of Holocaust victims is estimated to be between 11 and 17 million. The human beings singled out as victims were mainly sent to Poland, which at that time was occupied by Nazi Germany. Here they were killed either by being worked to death in German munitions factories or gassed in Auschwitz. The participants in the conference were, as I mentioned, 15 men. Here, I give them with their full title. Many have a doctor title, as the old Germans liked to show if they had such titles. I show pictures of some of these criminals. Reinhard Heydrich, the chief of the Reich Main Security Office, RSHA, and the main architect of the Holocaust. He was the leader of the meeting. Heinrich Müller's chief of the Gestapo. Adolf Eichmann, head of the Jewish department of the Gestapo and responsible for coordinating the logistics of the final solution. He because world infamous when the Israeli intelligence agency, Mossad, kidnapped him from Argentina in 1960. Eichmann had been living in Argentina under the alias Ricardo Clement for several years. The Israeli Intelligence Agency. Eichmann was then smuggled out of Argentina and taken to Israel. His trial took place in Jerusalem beginning on April 11, 1961. Eichmann was charged with numerous counts of crimes against humanity, war crimes, and other offenses. He was found guilty on many counts and was sentenced to death. Eichmann was executed by hanging on June 1, 1962. Another version is that he hanged himself in prison before the planned execution. Dr. Joseph Bueller, State Secretary of the General Government in occupied Poland. 
Dr. Roland Freisler, State Secretary of the Reich Ministry of Justice. Freisler later became President of the People's Court, Volksgerichtshof, in Nazi Germany. He was one of the most feared jurists in the Third Reich, the propaganda name for Hitler's Germany. He personally presided over many of the trials related to political resistance against the Nazi regime. After the failed assassination attempt against Hitler in 1944, Freisler was the presiding judge at the show trials of the conspirators. These trials took place in the People's Court in Berlin. Freisler's role was notable for his virulent and shouting denunciations of the accused, who were given little opportunity to speak in their defense. Many of the accused were sentenced to death by hanging, often within hours or days of their trial. Roland Freisler met his end on February 3, 1945, during an air raid on Berlin by the Allies. He was killed when a bomb hit the People's Court building. There's some poetic justice in the manner of his death, as he died in the very court where he had sentenced so many to their deaths. And I will proceed with my list of anonymous killers with doctor titles. Dr. Gerhard Klopfer, representative of the Nazi Party Chancellery. Dr. Friedrich Wilhelm Kritzinger, representative of the Reich Chancellery. Dr. George Liebrand, Reich Ministry for the Occupied Eastern Territories. Dr. Alfred Meyer, State Secretary of the Reich Ministry for the Occupied Eastern Territories. Dr. Wilhelm Stuckert, State Secretary in the Reich Interior Ministry. Dr. Eric Newman, State Secretary of the Office of the Plenipotentiary for the Four-Year Plan. Martin Luther, Undersecretary in the German Foreign Office. Otto Hoffmann, Head of the SS Race and Settlement Main Office. Dr. Karl Eberhard Skarmarth, SS and Police Leader in the General Government. Rudolf Langs, Commander of the Security Police and the SD for Latvia. Our knowledge about the Wannsee meeting primarily comes from a single surviving copy of the minutes of the conference, which are sometimes referred to as the Wannsee Protocol or Wannsee Conference Minutes. These minutes were discovered by the Allies in the files of the German Foreign Office in 1947. The document is a condensed version of the discussions prepared after the meeting by Adolf Eichmann. If you, my viewer, come to Berlin, you should go to Wannsee. The villa on the address A.M. Grossen Wannsee 56-58 is now an interesting museum about the infamous meeting and about Holocaust. Thank you for watching my video. And please subscribe to support my work.